Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. And with each breath, try to make sure that your attention and your focus gets better. Don't rest satisfied with halfway measures. Try to make it as good as you can. The Buddha said, if you're going to be a mainstay for yourself, if you're going to be able to depend on yourself, this is a quality you need to develop, what he calls the desire for the Dharma. The desire for the Dharma means that as long as there's still suffering in the mind, you're not satisfied with your practice. You don't just rest there and say, I'll just accept this. The Buddha was not the kind of person who just accepted things. He himself said his awakening came from not being satisfied with the level of his skill. That's how he was able to depend on himself, and that's how we can depend on ourselves as well. Sometimes we hear that it's, the Buddhist teachings are all about acceptance, but that's not the case. There are a lot of things we should not accept. Don't accept when greed comes in the mind. Don't accept when anger comes in the mind. Don't accept when laziness or fear come into the mind. You have to do something about them. Think about that story with Ajahn Chah. A storm had come through the monastery. And the next day he went around the monastery to check up the damage. He found there was one hut, but the roof was half blown open. The monk was sitting and meditating inside. So he asked the monk, why aren't you fixing the roof? And the monk said, because I'm trying to practice equanimity. And John Cha said, this is the equanimity of a water buffalo. Fix the roof. In other words, there are things we can do in life to make things better. Maybe our body's getting old, maybe the body's getting sick, but we can work on the mind. There's always work to be done in the mind, as long as there's still suffering in there. There's something wrong in there, but, but there's also something we can correct. We don't have to just accept, I'm going to suffer like this and leave it that way. They did an experiment with time with dogs. They put them in a room. No matter where they lay down in the room, they got an electric shock. So after a while they began to give up trying to find a safe place on the floor. Then they moved the dogs to another room where half the floor was designed to give them shocks and the other half did not give them shocks. And they just lay any old which, which way. Even though it was, they were dragged to the spot that was safe, they never made any effort on their own to go to the safe spot. they just given up. So don't be the kind of person who just gives up. As long as there's something that can be done in the mind and there's, you realize that there's work that has to be done, you remind yourself the work can be done and it's worth it. Even as you get old, the mind can still be developed. Even as you get sick, even, even as you're dying, the mind can be developed. So try to develop this desire for the Dharma, and that way you become your own mainstay. You can depend on yourself. And after all, the Buddhist teachings offer us safety, they offer us protection. But we have to take advantage of them and have a sense that if, as long as we haven't fully reached the end of suffering, there's more work to be done. That's where the real protection is. And that's how we become our own mainstay.